Hi, I'm Ken Bernstein, and this is my project for the Colorado Justice Center, The Face of Justice. So this is, um, this is the, the, er, the rendering that I made from the actual photograph. And within my community, I found the people that were perfect for these images. This is me, <laughs> with lots of words. That's me. But it's me uh, as a younger age. When Ken asked me to be a part of this project, he, I went to his studio and he took lots of pictures. Look up, look sideways, look down, look north, look south. And it's pretty good to be able to be forever young uh, when hanging <laughs> in a portrait like this. I'm now putting paint into the airbrush so that I can make, I can paint on the painting. It doesn't really take very much. painting has a different section from the Colorado Bill of Rights. It's a dialogue between the language and people that are alive today. And that's what my paintings are hopefully representing, is a diverse group of people of different ages and ethnicities that are being protected and also are interpreting the law that we have that is held in the books in the law library. I wanted to bring the environment into the conversation as well, as having rights as well as human beings have rights. And so since there were six human portraits, I figured it was appropriate to have a portrait of the environment. What we're doing now is we're putting the letters on to these paintings. Pull this frisket paper off to expose the stencil without pulling the paint up. It doesn't really need much paint because I want it to be transparent. Now I pick up the stencil, see what I got. The law library is the place where the language of the law is stored and where it is kept. And people are the ones who read the law, interpret the law. So the idea with these pieces is to incorporate the people and the letter of the law together. No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, property, without due process of law. These are human beings, and the language is words that were written by human beings for human beings. And so someone who's looking at these paintings is interpreting it for themselves, and I hope that they find some spark within themselves by looking at this work.